it made me sad because I, if I were them, I would feel really sad, and I, and I would feel sad, and it would just hurt me a lot. This is how eight-year-old Peyton Medic feels after watching a newscast on kids who don't have food or a home. Now she's talking to this class about her project called Peyton's Promise. We came up with Peyton's Promise, and our promise is to. Um, that kids can make the world a better place. A better place, she hopes, for kids in Marathon County. Peyton hopes to collect more than just food, possibly some toys to fill their hearts with joy. Sometimes the kids don't even get to go to school, so they have to stay at home and like talk with their family, and that's mostly all. Peyton's speech touched the hearts of these students. They don't have houses, and I bet they're um, crying because they don't have lots of stuff. I felt really sad because some people don't have homes and stuff and I'm just glad that I have a home mm -hmm. but I wish if they had a home too. Now they're ready to go and make a difference in the world. Some toys that I was going to give to the Easter seal but now this came out I'm going to save it and bring it in the bag. Peyton not only shines like a star to the kids, but leaves hope for the community. I think uh, when I find someone at eight years old being aware of this problem, it gives me hope that maybe her generation will be the one that finally solves this problem and we won't have hungry people in the world anymore. This was all Peyton's idea. Um, she wanted to make a difference. Um, her promise was that kids could make the world a better place, and she's, she's doing it. You can see how proud Tina Medic is of her eight-year-old daughter, Peyton. It is Peyton who came up with the idea of Peyton's Promise, an effort to feed the hungry in the Wausau area by donating food to the Neighbor's Place Food Pantry. We actually go over there actually mostly every day to donate the food that we pick up. So we get to see them and we get, and they say thank you. That brings us to this exercise session led by Peyton's mom. It's called Movin' and Munchin'. Riverside Elementary students brought in two cans of soup, which is giving them an added boost in their efforts to get fit. I think it was fun to do the workout and I think it really helped everybody. But the driving force behind this workout is to feed the hungry. So when the students are done exercising, the cans of food are bagged and Peyton and her family take them to the neighbor's place. I'm just really happy for all those children that are actually are getting all this food and supplies that they need that they didn't have before. And we're helping everybody that, that need it and I think we should do this next year. Mark that on the calendar as these kids get ready to make a difference. It really helps with their um, awareness of of what's going on in the community and it really boosts their self-esteem because they're making a difference. They're the ones who are changing the world. Remember, it's not me making the world a better place. It's all of you who brought in cans today. Peyton Medic is only 10 years old, but her compassion stretches far beyond her years. She started her own food drive with a promise. We are watching a story on 2020. Peyton said, you know, Mom, Dad, are there people like this around the Wausau area? And I said, yeah, there are. And I felt really bad, and I wanted to do something about that. And do something she has. For the past three years, she's held true to that promise, speaking to almost 2,000 students at area elementary schools, like these kids at Weston Elementary. While Peyton does the talking, her mom promotes healthy living by hosting an exercise class using the cans of food students donate. By having each kid bring in two cans of food like these, Peyton has gathered over 300 bags of groceries and 3,000 pounds of food. People should deserve to have food and everything and I think that it's making them very happy and I want to keep that up. It's a promise touching the lives of children across north central Wisconsin. There are people here that don't know where their next meal is going to come from and she wants to change that. She wants to really make a difference in the world. She's really kind of going out there and proud is not even a big enough word to say what my husband and I feel about Peyton. I want to do it through my whole life, I think. With the coverage you can count on, Teresa Mackin, Newsline 9.